Robinhood or M1 Finance? Which one is gonna be better in 2020? I don't know, but let's take a look at my M1 Finance portfolio for 2020. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, I'm Michael Romero, and I'm a small time YouTuber, small time investor, just trying to do some big things and continue my journey to financial enlightenment and take you guys along the way with me. So guys, I know a lot of you have heard that Robin Hood just released information saying that in the first quarter of 2020, they're gonna be um, releasing or having the option to do fractional shares, to buy fractional shares, and to use a DRIP, a dividend reinvestment program. But for those of you who don't know, M1 Finance, already has that they've been having that for about a year now and i decided to restructure my portfolio from a full monthly dividend income portfolio to half and half gains and dividend income for m1 finance just to see just as a test for 2020 i don't know if i'm gonna keep it like that but we'll see how well it'll do in 2020 with the way I have my profile structured here. If you guys remembered on my previous M1 Finance video, it was all about the monthly dividend paying stocks. In this one, we're gonna have some monthly dividends, some quarterly, and some that don't pay any dividend. I'm talking about Amazon. I'm talking about Google. I'm talking about Tesla. Why would I buy these? Because they're freaking awesome companies. But unfortunately, they don't pay dividends. Hopefully, maybe one day they will, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe now's the time to invest in them to do this little experiment for 2020 and see if my M1 Finance portfolio can outperform my Robinhood portfolio. Even though my Robinhood portfolio has significantly more money in it, we're gonna see which portfolio is gonna do better than which one. But guys, we're about to jump into the phone, but before we do that, go ahead and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm because you guys have been killing it. And if you guys are ready to go into 2020 with a crush it mindset, go ahead and let me know by hitting that smash button. That like button, I mean smashing the like button. You know what I'm saying. Here is my M1 Finance portfolio. As you can see, a little under $400, but for just having it for about a month and a half, I'm already up 7%, and this is not, this this is mostly because of all the dividend stocks I had previously. I pretty much sold them all except for one, you'll see in a little bit. But I wanted more of quality stocks for this portfolio to see if I can outperform my strictly dividend portfolio on M1, on, I'm sorry, Robinhood. But as you can see here, we are up, 7.13% with a total gain of $13.61. Now, $3.39 came from dividends. That's mostly because of my previous stocks I had in this portfolio, and most of it came from um, market gain. As you can see here, the dip, that big dip is because I sold all those stocks and then you know repurchased some other ones. Now let's see. On the day, well, there's no market data, but on the day, we're up 0.34%, which is $1.32. Not too shabby. On the week, we're up 0.06%, which is 21 cents. On the month, we're up $6.71, which is 2.58%. Quarterly, we're up $13.61, or 7.13%. And for all time, it's pretty much the same thing because, like I said, this is like a month and a half old. But let's see on the day. See, we didn't earn any dividends today, but today we're up $1.22 from purely market gains. On the week, we're down, actually, because of market gains, but we're up $0.33. Cents. We earned $0.33 cents worth of dividends but since the market gain was a negative, minus 12 from that, so we only earned 21 cents for the whole week. Not too great, but at least we're in the green. Same here for the month, we earned $1.95, 
out of the total six dollars and seventy one cents one dollar ninety five cents of it was from earned dividends the rest four dollars and seventy six cents was from market gain so and I'm, I'm not putting a whole bunch of money as of right now I think I'm only putting twenty five dollars a week into it I will be adding more once the turn of the year comes once the first of the year comes I will be adding more to each of my portfolios guys and you might ask well why am I doing that because I have a plan that I'm sticking to it I'm moving my money around the way I need it to be moved around right now and come the first of the year my plan will be executed in a different way I'll have to move my money around in a different way so guys as you can see here I have 10 stocks let's start with the first one 12% of my money is going to VU, Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. And what this does, it tracks the 500 biggest companies on the S&P 500. I figured I might as well put this as kind of a anchor for my portfolio just to kind of ride the trend up and down. That's why I have a little bit more in this one going into this one than I am in the other ones. As you can see here, I have 0.15%, percent of a share, but these shares are quite expensive. I think they're like 300 bucks or something like that. Yeah, average price $290.20. I have about $40, $45 in there. Um, and altogether, I made 52 cents from it. Let's see about the day. On the day, I made 27 cents. Uh, no dividends currently from this here. No dividends captured from VU just yet. Um, this is a this is a dividend stock. That's also another reason why I picked it. So we also have 10% going to big old Tesla. We have about 0.1024% uh, of a share, which is about $35 we have invested in it. The average share price is $345. We're up on the day, $2.19 just on this stock here, which is 6.28%. This is not, unfortunately, this is not a dividend stock. But I think it's a good stock to have for next year because the cyber truck and all these other big things good old Elon Musk is doing. I wish I had more money to dump into it, but we will slowly be building up positions over the next year or so in this port in this portfolio of Tesla. At least that's the idea but so let's see about for the past week I'm up two thousand six cents on the day I'm up two thousand nineteen cents I've only had this I've only had this portfolio set up like this for about two days so another ten percent is going to realty income which you guys know were in my M1 finance portfolio on my previous video I decided to keep it because I do like this company and it is a great dividend paying stock and it is a monthly dividend paying stock so I figure I'll have at least one monthly dividend paying stock on here as you can see we're up 0.31 cents on the day uh, which is 0.86 percent on the week we're up about eight cents the average share is about seventy six dollars and eighty cents and I have a little over half of that also about 0.53268 percent of a uh, of a share this is a like I said guys this is a great dividend stock a great monthly dividend stock uh, next we have Amazon you guys know Amazon on the day we're up only 18 cents which is about a half a percent let's see on the week we're up 19 cents which is 5.4 percent so um, we have about 0.02174 78 percent of a share so about only $30 invested into this uh, it's gonna be a little while before we get a whole share of Amazon but Amazon does have a lot of room to grow you know this is a giant in the tech in the internet era this is a giant guys and it still has a lot of room to grow which is why I love it unfortunately it's not a dividend stock maybe in the future they just they will decide to uh, pay a dividend but as of right now we know that they're sending all their money that they're making back into the company to grow next we have apple right now we're up 
So on the day, we're up 1.60%, which is about 57 cents, guys. Um, I have a ball, I have about 0.13715% of Apple. Its current share price is $271.24. I have about $38. I have about $37 invested into it. This is a dividend paying stock, which is great. Um, I do have faith in Apple. I definitely think Apple is gonna be another banger for 2020. Next we have Google Alphabet. So we're up 32 cents on the day, about nine, about 0.90%. So I have about 0.0. 2814% of a share, a very, very small amount of a share. We'll have about $38 invested. 10% of whatever I deposit into M1 Finance goes to this also. An average share price is $1, is $1,354.66. Alphabet is not a dividend paying stock, unfortunately. Maybe in the future. Guys, next we have 10% going into Win Resorts. 10% going into Wind Resorts. On the day, we are green, baby. 28 cents, about 0.80%. I have about 0.30% of a share. And I have about $36 invested. I have about $38 invested, and the average share is $123.69. This is also a dividend paying stock. This is a really good stock. I actually decided to pick this stock because of Jeremy from Financial Education. He loves this stock, so I decided I might as well give it a chance. So, shout out to Jeremy from the Financial Education channel for putting me on Win Resorts. Next, we have 10% going to Activision Blizzard Company. You guys might know this company from Call of Duty, from World of Warcraft, stuff like that. Um, I've never been in a tech company like this, so I decided to jump in. Also, this is a dividend paying stock. Um, the reason I decided to jump into Activision Blizzard is because all is because games are taking over. Over the next few years, over the next year, they should have a bunch more games coming out from Activision and Blizzard. Plus the new Call of Duty just came out, so shout out to whoever got the new Call of Duty. Shout out to whoever got the new Call of Duty on Xbox. Add me, Killator, K-I-1-1-A-T-O-R, that's me. I got 0.17 down on the day, which is about six cents I'm down, but I have about 0.0, I have about 0.65067% of a share. Of about, you know, $38 invested. I roughly have a, the same amount of money invested in all of them. An average price is $55.88, guys. Let's see on the week am I up. I am still down on the week, okay. All right, next we have another 10% going to Lamar. Lamar is an advertising company, guys. This is also a dividend paying stock. Lamar does those physical billboards and they pretty much own all of them. At least a good 90% of billboards is Lamar, guys. So I have about 0.44676% of a share. The average share is $86.89 and I have about $37, $38 allocated into it. Um, guys, I am down 0.92%, almost a whole percent. Also, 33 cents down on the day. Let's see about on the week. We are not green on the week, but I share this bad boy. We'll turn around. This also is a dividend paying stock. Uh, did not receive any dividends from it yet because like I said, I've only been holding these stocks for about two days. We will see come turn the end of the year how well these stocks will play out. Last but not least, we have 8% going to Insego Corp. Now this is probably the riskiest investment that I have in this portfolio. Insego Corp is a Insego Corp is a 5G infrastructure company. They handle a lot of 5G equipment, a lot of 5G things in the infrastructure. And as we know, 5G is coming up big in 2020 for AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, all these companies are currently working on 5G and once 5G starts rolling off, I have a feeling that this company is gonna shoot up in value. Well, right now I'm down about 8% on this bad boy, but I'm not tripping because I do have a feeling that this is gonna go up over the next few months. 
So I'm down about 8.83%, almost 9% on the day, which is about 2,051 cents. On the week though, I'm uh, down almost 11%, 10.82%, which is about 3,008 cents. But I have about 4.28 shares. I have <coughs> roughly four shares, a little over four shares. And the average price is $7.15. But guys, this is not a dividend paying stock. So I have five dividend paying stocks and five non-dividend paying stocks. But I am thinking of adding one more stock to this portfolio, guys, and I will talk about it. And if I do decide to, you guys will know on the next video for my M1 Finance portfolio. And guys, if you don't know, M1 Finance is one of the more cooler and user-friendly apps because they really, they really keep everything simplified. So let's say if you're brand new, you have a couple dollars you want to invest, but you don't want to do any of the work yourself. You go to Expert Pies, and you can literally pick on anything. Any your your you click General Investing, and you click what type of model you want, and it gives you a description of exactly what well, exactly what the model is made for, and what is expected to happen with this model, guys. Guys, M1 Finance is a great portfolio. It's a set it and forget it portfolio. It's not hands-on like Robinhood is, but it is still a great portfolio, especially, it's, it's, it is a great brokerage, especially for beginners, guys. And if you don't have M1 Finance and you wanna sign up, I'll leave you a link in the description. Once you sign up and fund your account, it'll give you 10, and I will also get $10 to, be, to put in my account, guys. So, if you use the link in the description, you'll get paid, and I'll get paid from it, guys. That is, if you wanna sign up for M1 Finance. If you don't, it's all good. I ain't gonna be mad at you guys. <clears throat> all right, guys, that was my M1 Finance portfolio. Roughly under $400. We know we're gonna make it to $400 by the end of the year. <laughs> like I said, guys, if you wanna download M1 Finance, I'll leave a link in the description. If you use that link to sign up, we'll both get paid from it, guys. If you don't, it's all good. I ain't mad at you. But if you find value out of this video whatsoever, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm to let them know that I'm doing a good job because you guys are doing a good job from smashing that like button. And let me know in the comments below if you think this portfolio will perform well in 2020. I'm excited to hear what you guys, what your guys' thoughts are on this portfolio. Um, and also, if you're still here with me watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that little red subscribe button to join this little family we got going on here, guys. All right, guys, if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos.